Travis Scott. Ooh. I don't know, bro. This is yeah. the new car. This is the McLaren 570S. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got holes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas. Oh, I'm back with another video, guys. I'm gonna start the day with my cocoa water real quick. So I'm gonna drink this real quick and I'm gonna start heading out. You need cocoa, bro. That's my favorite, bro. God. What is it? What do you want now? I want some cocoa. What are you doing? I'm gonna drink this and then we're gonna head out. Oh, wait a minute. I'm show you my sneakers. <laughs> show you my sneakers. All right, here you go. Bro. This is his video now. You show go. you my sneakers. All right, what's the, what the sneakers you got? Which one you want to see first? Uh, Nike. I'm wearing Nike and you're wearing Nike. All right. What is it? Travis Scott's. Ooh. I don't know, bro. I don't know, like, like the color of it. You don't like it? I mean, it's a hard one to match. It's suede? What is this? Yeah, I don't know. If, I think it's. Suede. I can tear it. I'm just kidding. Nah, I can tear it. <laughs> like, cars. Like, yeah, the cars. <laughs> but I don't know, like. Three different shoelaces? Yeah. No, four. The pink, brown. Why is this logo here, though? That's probably his. That's logo. his logo? Yeah. Well, so this is the summer, bro. I want this. Everybody wearing this color right now. It's my brand new. Everybody wanted this color. Oh, mint. What easy are these called? I don't know, 350. <laughs> <laughs> he buys them that he likes them. <laughs> yeah. like whatever he likes. I like what I like. I like what I like. These are nice though. These remind me of the other sneakers. No, and the material, no, but the material these are like the, the first one he ever came out with. See, they're not hard. I got to find match with these. Nine and a half? No, they run big. These are like 10. Yeah. Oh, these are 10, bro. See, US. Oh, what size are these? Yeah, those are 10s, yeah. They usually kind of run small, but those run big. Ah, you smell nice. Oh, you smell it. Nice. Oh, that's smell good. They stick I don't out. Oh, stick out. Yeah. But I know you're always you're always like a big fan of the ones. I like you know something different. I want you guys to come over here and look at my dad's outfit. Look, look at this man's outfit. Yeah. Nike down, matching with the off white. So he got his outfit and how he dresses for me, right? <laughs> so you see how I am, right? Yeah. Nike down and all that. I, I showed him about Nike and yeah, all that. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, look, you're wearing the, presto the Prestos, I'm wearing the Prestos. But you're wearing the Off-Whites. But I got these custom sneakers that say ain't nothing. Cause these sneakers right here, the first are comfortable. Yeah, I know. No, these are comfortable. I mean, these right here are comfortable too, bro. These Yeezys? Yeah. These are comfortable. Now, how, how about the ones? Ones are all right. All right. So you're done showing us the sneakers, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. now I can be back to my Yeah, video. go back, go back to the no more. <laughs> what is that called? No more um, station. No more what? No more station. So I'm gonna go to the garage right now, show you guys my new car. And let's get this day started. All right, so before we head out, let me just grab all the stuff that we just got before my last video, which was a while back ago. So the newest thing that we added on was the wing. Hey, but I don't know. Oh, you out here? Can you put that phone? You want to put the sticker on now? Yeah. Just you out here. You want to be in my video too? Yeah, no, no problem, Padre. Right. No problem. That's part of your lounge. That's part of your lounge. That's your job duty. So let me put on this Instagram sticker of my dad real quick before we leave. And if you guys haven't noticed, his name is Ant123. So follow him on Instagram. I gotta put this nice and neat. Because if not, he's gonna kick my culito. Eventually. All right, after five days of doing this, we finally got it. Um, sweating my golito off over here. But now we're gonna showcase my new car. Come around all the way over here. God, Lee. This is the new car. This is the McLaren 570S. Uh, we traded in my old car that was a BMW i8. And we got rid of it for this car. Uh, we picked this up in Miami at a dealership called uh, Formula One Sports Car. Description below. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do some B-roll shots. I'm gonna explain a little bit more of the car and we're gonna drive around and get some people's reactions. He's actually been in this car, so I'm gonna show him a little bit of the power that it has, and then uh, we're gonna get his little reaction. All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Quick, right? Oh man, I gotta slow down now before my dad gets my ass. I think the the color, you know, because it's like a bold color, purple. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't really see that many purple like McLarens or any sports cars. For But uh, it's the color that really sticks out to me, and I really love about this car. But the other thing. 
thing I really love is like the sound of the car, you know, the turbos. See? <laughs> All right, so basically the thing that I love the i don't get me wrong, right? The look wise and everything is classic looking and like when I would drive it, people wouldn't like I don't I don't like usually race like to race people and all that but in that car no one would like try to attempt to try to race me because they know I can't catch up you know what I'm saying even though it's fast and all that don't get me wrong but like compared to this car or any other sports car out there it's not that quick so the reason I love this car more is because of the speed the sound and the looks so I get the doors you know what I'm saying just like the IA I got the doors I got the looks just like the IA but the one thing that's better than the IA in this car is of course the sound and the speed and that's something I like really love and thrive for you know is the speed of the cars. Now the interior though I will admit the interior in the IA is way better than this car because I feel like this car is more like it's kind of I think to me it's more driver focused you know yeah. unless like my dash car has like the whole uh, dash or not the dash the uh, whole interior console for the console and all that but uh and my dad's car too, he has a little button that you can flip the switch to start it. And uh, the display looks like it's like a fighter jet. Okay, sounds better, I feel like, in my opinion, like starting up wise, my car loud, sounds loud. But taking off and all that, my dad's car sounds better, to be honest with you, because it sounds like a, like a jet. Everything, that car sounds like a fighter jet, it looks like a fighter jet, and it's like quick. So, the sound wise, I like on the, the Lambo when it's taking off. But when it first starts up, my car sounds louder than the, the Lambo. But now if you ask me, do I choose this car over the Lambo? Now I would have to say, I don't know. Cause that, that's oh, a man. tough one. Cause this one, I feel like I could drive it every day because this has dual clutch. And for those of you who don't know what dual clutch means, that means you it shifts instantly, it shifts quick and it shifts smooth. So I can be a fifth gear and watch. I don't feel the, the shifting of the car. Now the Lambo is a single clutch. So anytime I'm shifting it, you can feel it shift. It feels like a, like someone's pounding you in the back. But this car, I don't feel that at all. So I can't open up my engine bay. So I can't open it up at all. So only the mechanics at uh, Dimmit can do that. Or not Dimmit, but any dealership, any McLaren specialized dealership or any. So that's one thing I don't like too. Cause I like to be showing off the engine, you know, when I'm going to car shows and all that. There's actually a little thing that I can open. And it's for like the, the windshield wipers, um, the fluid, and uh, the coolant and all that. The gas! Okay, okay. Well, I can tell you right now, it's better than the Lambo. Let's see, I just filled up about two days ago, and now it's saying 165 miles, but when I put it on track, I always like driving on track. Because you see it holds the gear, now it's on third gear. If I drive it, like, you know, every day, yeah. probably like, uh, uh, let's see, probably the third, the third day of driving it. up the doors right yeah I don't know how much space I have between the cars I'm next to so I always feel like we're gonna hit the car gotcha so I try to stay I try to park in the back where no one like can park next to me so yeah. I have enough space I know I won't damage another car or anything so that's another thing how the doors open up I can like take off, rev at people, and they love it, you know, and the IA, I rev, they can't barely hear it, you know, it sounds like a Prius. Every time we pass by, we'll do a little rev or something. Well, of course, this is like a, a sports car, it's gonna drive a little rough, but for the most part, it drives actually pretty nice, you know? Yeah. Like, of course, I feel like every bump in the road, but handling and all that is really nice. I was, at first, I was thinking of the R8, the Audi R8. Okay. I was thinking of an, a Range Rover SV. What else? Oh, Lamborghini Gallardo and uh, the i8 Roadster too. Those are the top cars I was looking into. No regrets. <laughs> no regrets. I do miss my car a little bit. And a lot of people don't know this car. Like the, the, oh my god, the make of the car. Not brand new, but like a little newer than Lamborghini or Ferrari, of course. I went to a gas station when I when we first bought the car and someone mistaken it for a, a Lamborghini. He was like, oh, McLaren, what's that? <laughs> I had to describe to all the cars that uh, McLaren had made. Well, I got a piggy bank, you know, anytime. I don't know what, uh, if I'm gonna have to go across a parking meter. So I, I can prepare it every time, you know, I got quarters, pennies, whatever you need, I got it. Uh, this car doesn't actually have a glove box. So if you look, there's nothing that I can put in here or anything. I can't open it or anything. I have a little secret compartment by the door. 
that I can store stuff into it. You have that too on your side too. So truck space is actually pretty good for a sports car. Um, it's better than Lambo. Lambo you can only fit like four candy bars in the trunk. I actually have storage space too in the back that we actually fit Javante's backpack back there. Other than that, I think the truck space and like storage is pretty good in this car. Cockpit, oh, let me see. That too, I don't know, I can always feel I'm too close to the passenger. But I'm a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna go to my favorite spot and my one and only spot that I always go to. And uh, you gotta, you gotta see what it Ooh, is. I hit a lick with him. Let's get it. So there ain't thing a nice place. Sit with him. If I don't know you, I'ma hold you. Suck it up, cause I smoke you. Now act like you want some beef, and I show you, nigga. Trying to sell a pound. I ain't never heard a dog. Told him bring it to the car, got it and skirt it off. Uh, can I get a five piece meal? And can I get the tachos? All right, so this is what we got. PDQ. This right here is the best chicken in the world. You guys can comment below that Chick-fil-A is the best or whatever spot you think is the best that sells chicken. But I feel like PDQ is the best. And I want a sponsorship by next week from PDQ. Because I always eat there every single day. You can ask all my friends. I always stop by and eat PDQ. So I'm going to finish this food real quick. And I'm going to finish up the video. And hold on, let me see. You sure you don't want a piece? I'll tear you up a piece, my dude. You don't want a piece, Javante? Are you sure? All right, well, you gotta watch me eat that. This delicious chicken. Look at this, oh my God. All right, I'll see you guys later. Now the cool thing about this car too, I can have this car drive, first gear, and even if I turn it off, it goes straight into park. So I don't have to mess with neutral or the parking brake and all that, I can just turn the car off and it goes straight into park. Javante, where you at? Alright, so I'm gonna move out of the house, alright? No, I'm just kidding, but listen, I got my uh, drone over here that I haven't used in a couple years. I'm trying to use it tonight. So, I'm trying to get some nice shots for you guys. Um, got the heavy duty over here. Let's open this thing up. Might be a little dusty. Ooh, my God. My baby looking nice and clean still. But we're gonna fly this for a little bit, get some couple shots for you guys, and I'll see you guys outside. Alright, so I haven't flown this drone in a while, right? So I hope I don't crash it or anything. So you ready? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. How's it looking? See for yourself. Oh my god. Yeah. That's how you know I haven't flown in a while. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I'm gonna try to come up with a video every week now. Follow my Instagram. Life, I'm trying to stay paid. When I die, I put my money in a grave. When I die, I put my money in a grave.